Hello everyone, it's Marek Mulacic here and this time what we're going to look at is creating this um, animated uh, flying map travel animation and a bit of, we'll throw in a bit of 3D here as well. So we're going to have maybe something like that in here. We're flying from Exeter to London. Okay, so what we need is an image of a map which I've got here already. And I've got this airplane here as well. So first of all, we're going to create a new composition. I think Full HD will be just fine. So say uh, travel, I'm going to call it travel animation. Full HD, 24 frames per second. I guess this could be shorter. Um, I guess maybe five seconds will be enough. Background color doesn't matter. Okay, we'll have a map for the background. Now, because the map is bigger, I'm just going to scale it down really quickly if you have a clip and a clip and you want it to fit within your composition just so you don't have to do it manually you can just use layer menu transform and we're going to fit it to comp width to make it fit in here perfect okay uh, let's add this plane so i'm going to actually borrow it from here actually no because this is animation so i'm going to open this composition select this layer copy it, just close it, and here I'm going to paste it to get this airplane. Uh, if we want to change the color, we'll change the fill because this is a shape. So we can make it a different color, any color we want, something a bit darker maybe, and we're going to put it right, oops, 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 and let's move the entire airplane somewhere here, and we'll make it smaller, so I'll do S for scale, just scale it down a bit, so it's a bit smaller, maybe this size. And we're also going to make this animated dashed line, which will follow the airplane. So all we can do is we're going to create a shape with a pen. So I'll deselect all the layers, we'll grab a pen tool, and we'll start from here. We'll just click and then go to London <laughs> and click and drag to draw a nice curve, maybe something like that. Now we don't want to fill, <clears throat> so alt click on the color switch for the fill a couple of times to remove the fill color. For the stroke, I think 10 pixels is fine. You can pick a color, any color you want. So maybe I'll pick something that's closer to the airplane or use the eyedropper. Sample the color okay, and click OK. For this line, for the animation, we're going to use the trimming paths operator, trim paths operator, okay, and that's our trim paths. We'll be animating the end property from the beginning. At the beginning, we'll set it to zero and put a keyframe for it as well. Then a few seconds later, we'll give it maybe three seconds. We'll set the end to one hundred percent. So if I just trim this comp work area, we're going to get something like that. And we could do with some easing. So select both keyframes, F9, or if you don't like keyboard shortcuts, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease for both keyframes. Okay, this will give us a nice animation. And we'll probably want the dash dashes as well. So in the shape layer properties, under stroke, we'll click plus next to dashes to add dashes. Let me just move the CTI so we can see the whole line. I think the dashes could be a little bit longer, so we'll change the dashes value here, just to make them a bit longer and make fewer dashes, say maybe 14. So get this animated dashed line, something like that. I'll keep the keyframes, so the layer selected, I'll press U, letter U, to keep the keyframes here. Now let's animate uh, the plane. So the airplane, P for position. Uh, let's put a keyframe at the beginning. And then we'll go to the end. And at the end, we'll reposition. So let me just switch back to selection tool. I'll move the airplane here. We'll bend the motion path as well. And I think it should start maybe there. And uh, we'll need to rotate the plane as well. So if I 
press shift r to add rotation to the position go back to the beginning set a keyframe go to the end or to the second keyframe and rotate it maybe like that and let's move it so it's right there adjust the path so it should be something like that oh let's apply easy ease to the airplane as well for position again i'll use the f9 that's better so the dash is actually following the plane that's perfect i guess what we can also do here is maybe add a 3d camera so i'll go back to the beginning go layer new camera that's fine, default settings are fine, so I'll click OK. And we'll need to turn some of our layers to 3D. I'm actually going to make them all into 3D layers. Just collapse the properties here. OK. And so we could parent the airplane and the map in case we want to maybe zoom in and out. So you can parent them. And now we're going to animate the camera. So if we open the camera properties, let's see uh, what we could do here. So we could animate maybe the Y rotation. So we could do something like that. So we can start maybe this way and maybe the position as well. So I'm going to move it maybe like that a little bit. And on the Z axis as well, we can zoom it a bit move it on the x-axis as well uh, maybe maybe we'll start this way actually and this will stay like that and let's see maybe on the z we'll zoom in a bit closer so we can see the map and Maybe a little bit too much. So maybe like that. Okay. No. no. For the rotation, let's see what else we can do. Maybe Z rotation. No, probably more like X rotation. If we want to slide in, I think this is okay. So if we position it roughly in the center to start with, maybe like that. Got keyframes. Then we'll go towards the end of the animation, which was three seconds on mine. Then we could change the position so we can zoom in much closer and we'll get something like that maybe. Let's see what this is going to look like. I think another thing we could do with the plane here is to have a shadow behind it. So we could select the airplane and do effect, perspective, drop shadow, put a bit of a shadow here, go to effect controls panel, and let's increase the distance, at least for now. So the shadow will need to go bottom left, more like it, add a bit of softness, make it nice and soft. I'll put it closer to the object as well. We can always keyframe it. So let's say at the start, we can put a shadow right behind the plane. So be right behind it, but then we could keyframe it. So if I go back to the beginning, put keyframes for distance and maybe softness as well, just in case. I'm just going to increase the opacity a little bit, say about 60%. And as the plane is taking off, say maybe here. Actually, let me just put a keyframe at the end. So if we go to airplane, U, to reveal the keyframes, and we'll put a keyframe for the drop shadow for distance and softness. And maybe this can actually appear a little bit sooner. So I move them maybe half a second earlier. And then halfway through the animation, so maybe there, we could increase the distance, have the shadow further away and softness as well to make it nice and soft so it should be very blurry and i guess i'll put these two keyframes a little bit later as well so we'll get 
something like that just to give it a bit more depth I think the softness here and the distance could be even higher so let's try 30 maybe and more softness as well and if we play that got a little bit more dimension as if it's really lifting taking off a little bit further away from the background image so we've got this animation where like a travel animation using 3d camera as well and the object uh, taking off and the dashed line following in following it as well at the same time okay i hope you enjoyed this uh, quick tutorial in adobe after effects um thank you for watching please uh, like the video if you like it <laughs> uh, leave any comments if you have any comments subscribe if you haven't already and i hope to see you soon on another video thank you for watching i'm marek molacek from marekmolacek.com and thank you for watching this video i hope you enjoyed it thank you for now bye bye for now